What is up, guys? Happy New Year, man. I hope you guys had a great 2023. I know we did. The support on this channel this year has been amazing. Uh, we started this channel about six months ago, and we're right at 28,000. Where are we at? 27, 28,000? Like 27, 28,000, yes. Right. So honestly, man, I could not have asked for more. You guys have been awesome in that regard. So we just wanted to take a time out and let you guys know how much uh, you guys mean to us. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys have had a really awesome holiday season. I hope you guys have gotten to see family. I hope you saw loved ones that you haven't seen in a while. And I just hope that, you know, you made some memories. I know we did. 100%. But we just wanted to talk about the channel, the future of it, what we're going to do next year. And we also wanted to finish off with um, the favorite moments of this year by you guys. Absolutely. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, we just want to talk about the future of the channel. So next year on this channel, man, we really want to try to like get into more stuff if that makes sense so like broad and absolutely. reach out you know we did the screen franchise and we have so many horror fans on the channel and we have marvel fans and we have people who want us to do dc and we're starting the hobbit and we got star wars to do and guys honestly those are just some of the biggest you know mainstream movies that we haven't seen and there's so many more to get into like literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands so next year is going to be all about just trying to get more movies out mm -hmm. um i just want to broaden you know uh, i want to dive into some tv shows see what's out there because we've just been busy lately and we've just missed a lot uh, and on top of that if anything this channel has made him and i both very 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 open-minded to trying new things right watching absolutely. new things because a lot of these things i probably would have never like you know just sat down and watched otherwise well i definitely have like my genre that yeah. I like you know like there's a show that I've been putting off because I've been wanting to watch it with you guys because it's kind of new but it's called from I've been wanting to watch that so hopefully next year the creators of lost that. made it and we really like lost you guys that's great. just sort of my speed of show you yeah know? 2024 because we're gonna put these our goals here so you guys seen them here so if we don't make them you'll see it right um, we just, where do we want to be subscriber wise? Well, that's the thing. We're also talking to <laughs> ourselves, right? Cause I yeah. want to look at this video in a year and I just want to say, I like, want to see some growth. I want to see like, I, I want to see growth as a person. I want to see growth as a YouTuber. I want to see growth as a, as yeah. a wife, as a mother. I want to see all the growth. I want to see growth too. And you know what? And 365 days from now, when I look into this camera and I look at this video, I'm going to look at myself and I'm going to realize that if I'm not where I want to be, it's because of me. So right. I'm going to take accountability for that. And I'm hoping I want to, you know, I'm hoping that I'll be there. Where do we want to be? I think for me, it's the number of subscribers isn't a big deal. I just want to keep putting out the same consistent quality content. You know, I think the number of subscribers will be, it will be whatever we're, we deserve. <laughs> you know, I guess the, thing to, me, deserve. the thing to me, babe, is like, I just want to make sure that in a year, I want to look at the channel and feel like, we're satisfying as many people as possible. Like mm. I was saying earlier with like the different genres and stuff. Right. You know, we have so many different people on the channel that want so many different types of movies and it's really hard to meet that demand. So if we're at a spot where we can put out, you know, different types of movies, you know, consistently, I'll be happy. So as right. long as we're getting growth, none of that stuff really matters to me. You guys are awesome. Baby, let me ask you a question. So we've been at it for six months. We're going into a new year. Can you tell me some of your favorite moments? Yeah, can you hear me my thing? Cause Absolutely. I don't know. Okay guys, I just want to start by saying that this year has been great for me personally. I love this channel. This channel has opened me up to so many different like things I never would have experienced otherwise. And I really appreciate that. So with that being said, my very first thing is you bow to no one. And that was my favorite. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Yes, that was yeah, my that was favorite good. quote from Lord of the Rings because I think it's everyone's favorite quote from Lord of the Rings personally. Like Not mine, but okay. hey, it's one of them. <laughs> what was yours, roast chicken? My favorite part from Lord of the Rings? Yeah, my favorite part. Uh, no, man, when uh, Aragorn, when they're looking at him and they're wondering what his soul is about to do as it's teetering on the edge of the existence of the whole realm, and he looks back and he says, for Frodo, grabs the sword oh, and turns. What a moment. What a yeah. moment, right? Insane. I'm, yeah. Maybe not even the best part from the movie. But anyways, go ahead. Okay, so the whole Lord of the Rings thing, I'm probably going to get emotional about it because I was talking to someone in the comments. I'm so sorry. I don't remember your name right off. But we were talking about how those, no matter what, Lord of the Rings is a positive thing. So doing a reaction to that did nothing but bring people together in such a positive manner. Right, no one right. got angry. Right, so we Rings. all we like, did no was chat divided. about like how beautiful the story right, was right, right, and right. how we shared it together. And like in this world of so much like negativity and chaos, we could come together for a moment of just positivity and we did it through our yeah. reaction and to me that was beautiful yeah you never shared that thought with me i don't think but that's kind of crazy i never really thought of it that way but that is true wow. and to me that's like kind of like ever since that moment that's kind of been my thing about our channel like anything that we do i want it to bring like positivity to someone so like anyone who's having a bad day I want them to come to this channel and feel like you can get away from that bad day. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that moment there, thank you person for, you know, making that open-minded to me. But ever since that moment, I've done nothing but just like, 
you know, try to be like, like joyful and happy because I'm happy right. to be here. I want to do this. Well, we've had months of just people dropping little like tidbits of information about Lord of the Rings that are just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Go check those out. Yeah. What else? Um, my second thing is the entire Marvel journey. So oh, yeah, like I fine. said, you know, it wasn't something I wanted to venture into, but it was the community for me. The community, like there's many people I can name. I can name two right off the bat. Asia and Keith. Love you guys. You guys are great. Oh, I can name um, them now. Elect Alex Floria, is that how you pronounce it? All yes, these people, guys, it. you guys are awesome. And we can't thank you enough. Like, and not only that, you guys protected us from spoilers. <laughs> so like- Yeah, so many yes. of you guys, man. Uh, um, no one allowed it and no one did it. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I try not to name drop too much because I'll leave people out and never like- Right, I don't want you guys to be upset. Right? And there are Michael Carlson. so many people, man. There are right. so many people, but that's the cool thing about our community is, you know, we're really starting to recognize these names and like- JJ Carlisle. We see you, man. So many people out there, even on Patreon, like you guys are commenting on everything and we definitely see you man michael you know we we see you uh and we love it man keep it coming yeah we try our best to respond to everything but it's you know at this point it's kind of getting we were talking about this today actually yeah it was a big thing for us to really want to respond to every comment that was sort of like Mrs. that was like my thing. creed i was like i'm gonna respond to every comment because they deserve it la, 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 it's la. becoming impossible to be honest and you know it's a wonderful problem to have i'm not complaining i wish we could respond to everyone i mean at the end of the day if we responded to everyone we would never get content out so right. it's just becoming like and that so. now that now that i'm starting to edit some i have to focus some on that that's another well. thing guys this year i'm hoping we can get some like decent editors it's gonna yeah. take away like some of my pride in the channel because you know everything was done by hand but you know somebody could help with the editing that would be great because ultimately like we need to start focusing on getting more content out and being more engaging and yes. we want to start live streaming talking to you guys getting to know you more i mean there's so many ambitions that we have but yeah like she said these videos take a really long time yeah. and we're doing the best we can but well venturing back into what i was saying it was the community i just wanted to thank the community so much the marvel whole like the whole mcu what from start to finish was just a great like experience for me it was so different it was so unique and you know i never thought i would cry over like aliens and stuff like that like or superheroes well, or that thing i wear on my head yeah or anything like that i never thought i would be bawling my eyes out and like hurting my feelings but it did and ugh. R.I.P. Tony Stark, I love you. It's incredible. You get so many like hours in with these characters and like you really do grow to appreciate them. And uh, you know, it's very unique with Marvel. I can't really relate. You know, Lord of the Rings was a trilogy and we watched the extended version and then we went back and we rewatched the first one, the extended version, and it was such a journey. And we spend a lot of time with those characters, but not as much as Marvel. Because right. There's so many movies. Dude. Right. Like, <laughs> even when you're watching a Thor movie and you don't really feel like, you know, another character is involved, you still feel like in those first Thor movies, you were getting to know Star Wars a little bit, yeah. looking back at it. So you, you just spend a lot of time with these characters and incredible journey, man. Yeah, I really loved it. It was very unique. It was once in a lifetime, as you guys know. Yeah. And it's over and that sucks. I know, but, hey. but we still have phase four and five and we are getting into those. Wanted to say it for 2024. We wanted to get through the X-Men series first because a lot of people have mentioned they would like for us to do that before we get into WandaVision. Right. So that is where we're at with that. In case anyone was wondering, please keep watching the Marvel thing. We're still going with it. Marvel right. Monday till we die. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, if you guys don't think I'm gonna get a cap shield on that wall, y'all crazy. Yeah. I just gotta figure out where. Hopefully yeah. it can go on camera, but if not, I'm gonna put it on my desk right here. Right. All right, what else? Um, and then another thing I wanted to mention about this year was uh, our scary movie reaction. Um, Never, first of all, that was like kind of a mistake because we watched like a spoof before we watched movies, which kind of like, you know, made Scream a little funnier than it should have been. But um, that was just cool because like, that was our first video that had so many views and like watching that thing grow was cool. It was like a crazy experience it's wild and i really yeah. appreciate everyone who went and showed support for that video if you haven't you should go check it out and like i said don't, don't hate us. Don't, don't check it out don't actually. hate <laughs> us don't hate us for um watching a spoof before the originals right and then the last thing i wanted to mention guys is i'm so excited to get into game of thrones like this experience with game of thrones the community has not only been great it's helped our patreon out a lot and it's also been such an experience because it's a crazy show like that's all i can right. say about it like i'm so excited to get into it i would love to watch one right now if i could so many people said like oh man game of thrones great strategy it really grows the channel dude we didn't know genuinely we put out a poll on, on <laughs> yeah. Patreon, and that's just what everyone wanted to see but i'm really into it for sure it's it's, it's great I, I just thought it was about some whack dragons but it's not right and it's not it's, yet at least it's awesome it's crazy it's intense it's very uncomfortable though for me I'm a <laughs> yeah very, there's like, some just weird old part, fashioned yeah. dude and i'm just like an old man over here sometimes i'm like oh lord what's going on on this tv but um yeah and you don't so and fun, sometimes man. you just don't want your man seeing some stuff like that so right. you're just like 
Right. Um, Just don't pay attention, honey. It's all good. Though. All right. So my, my favorite parts. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. Oh, sorry. I kept simple. it too long. <laughs> no, no, it ain't that. I just, you know. So my favorite. Well, I, it's hard to say favorite, but the first thing I wrote down was because I wrote down my little things was we're in for the fight of our lives. We're going to win. <laughs> so that's my favorite part of the MCU. This sounds kind of cringe, guys. I don't really know if I want to admit this to you guys, but that's something that I say to myself. Like when I'm tired, dude, I know I just got to do it because, uh, you know, I got to go, go, go. All, all, like always, dude, go, go, go. And when I'm tired, dude, I just, you know, I'll say it. I'll be like, all right, baby. What do I say? We're in the fight of our lives. We're in for the fight of our gonna lives. We're going to win. But we're gonna win and sometimes yeah. he'll make the dog say it when we he'll moved. make anyone say yeah when we moved i said it dude we were dog tired dude just lifting everything in the house just me and her and i was like you know what and i said that quote maybe like 30 times i don't know <laughs> it, it got us it got us through it sure did. Um, like I said, there's no order. It's impossible to order it. Just like when Lamar sent the jerseys to us, that was pretty cool. Um, thank you, Lamar. <laughs> thank I know you it's so been much, a while. Lamar. Those jerseys are right there in my closet. That is my closet, guys. Uh, I still have both of them in there. Eventually, I'm going to frame them eventually. Uh, anyways, man, that was just really cool because... Lamar, you went out of your way. You spent, uh, well, I know what you spent. I'm not going to say it on here, but you spent some pretty pennies on those jerseys, man. You did not skimp. You got the real authentic, real jerseys. Right. You sent them to us. And Friday Night and Lights was a great movie for the record. Go check it out. That was a really awesome moment just because someone went out of their way to like send us such an awesome gift. Uh, you guys, you never have to send us anything. It's not what it's about. You know, definitely don't. But it was just such an awesome sentiment. Uh, thank you so much for that. And Lamar, you're, you're definitely a goat for that. Um, Saving Private Ryan. Pretty embarrassing that I was so old in my life before I saw that movie. Incredible movie, definitely worth seeing. It really puts it into perspective. Basically what it does, it puts it into perspective that when the time calls for it, how sometimes even though they're not given a choice, brave people have to step up ultimately. And it just reminds me that I live a life where I don't have to do things like that. Right. You know, like don't get me wrong, man. Like I have to work and get my knuckles bloody too, but I don't have to go and fight for basic things. I don't have to fight for, you know, I don't have to fight to keep my kids warm and stuff right. like that. And a lot of people have, and I just really think that that is a worthwhile movie. No matter what your color, creed, religion, political affiliation, that is a movie that I think we can all appreciate um, because it came in a time where, just in a time different from ours, man. Everything's so political now, it's really hard to like get on the same page about a lot of things. But back then, it seemed to be pretty black and white. We all agreed on that. And beautiful movie. You should definitely go check it out. Honestly, I got to give a little shout out to the Game of Thrones uh, moment <laughs> out there. So, so far, dude, the cr lots of crazy moments, baby. But yeah, remember, <laughs> this man was standing on the freaking throne with a crossbow. <laughs> Pointing the crossbow at Sansa as she was on her knees. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry you're you're, I'm sorry, your grace. What is going on? That to me is the most shocking part of this whole because entire Because remember show. we just saw Joffrey holding a crossbow and we look up and it's Sansa. We're like, what? That's your whole wife almost. What are you right. doing? Well, you guys don't know, but we're ahead on Game of Thrones. Like we're we're more ahead on Game of Thrones than we are on YouTube, right? And if you That's guys want to join the Patreon, if you want to, I yeah, mean, it does want. cost money over there. But if you don't want to pay for that, that totally right. understand. But we're just totally way more ahead on there. So if you're like missing anything, like we're we're just ahead. well, we're a couple more episodes ahead for sure. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so and we intend on it being that way. I don't even know what I was going to say. I don't want to spoil anything. No, 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 you're good. I just don't want to mess up the flow of like where we are on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I was going to say something else that was more relevant. Another crazy moment that happened. But I don't want to spoil it because I want you guys to get the most authentic reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, man, that part was crazy too. And, you know, just the last thing I wrote down was just the Avengers because I mentioned it before. It's sort of the staple of our channel. We sort of grew our channel off the Avengers. Not the Avengers, but just Marvel in general. But just the Avengers because... Those movies were just insane. I mean, insane movies. I could watch every one of those multiple times for the rest of my life. So Endgame is still one of my favorite movies ever. A lot of you guys mentioned there was a lot of plot holes. Blah, 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 man. Honestly, to me, the movie was just, the movie was so good. It was so visually amazing. It was so emotionally impactful in so yeah. many ways. And it just, you know, I, I understand a lot of plot holes. There was a lot of things that didn't make sense as I was watching the series that I didn't point out because I didn't want to like harp on the negative in that way because I think that it overshadowed it. Right. Or, you know, the good outweighed it by like a thousand. So right. the Avengers, crazy. And other than that, and then we got a couple things in our personal lives that we wanted to share with you guys. So we're just talking about just good things that happened in 2023. And number one, first and foremost, we'll be starting this channel in May. It was such a big thing for us and it's done nothing but bring positivity and happiness to us. Yeah, absolutely. And we're so thankful for each and every one of you. Our second thing will be moving. Yeah, moving was great. Couldn't be more happy where we and are. And for the record, they are just as happy as well. So thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, ultimately it's you, it's your guys' generosity and your guys' support, support that made it all happen. I couldn't be more grateful, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna be prideful absolutely. in any type of way. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. And what else? Oh, the 
Patreon. Start yeah, the you Patreon. Still talk about our first Patreon member ever. Yeah, so starting the Patreon was a huge thing for us. Um, because we had no idea about it. First of all, like, YouTube's great, man. YouTube, YouTube does good, but the thing is, is YouTube's kind of greedy and YouTube don't pay the bills. But Patreon, on the other hand, you guys really ultimately made it possible the long way. I mean, like you know, we pay our bills because of Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm, all 674 of you guys. Right, we are at 674 Thank members. You so much. It blows my mind. You know, we said in the beginning, if we could get one member on Patreon, to me, that was gonna be crazy. And when we did, let's talk about it. When we got our first member, what did we do? What did we do? Oh. We were loath like, oh, we got a picture of him. Yeah, it was Ethan. Shout out to you, Ethan. Um, We'll never forget you, Ethan. It was such a moment we had. Well, me and Ethan talk. Yeah, I know you and Ethan talk. Y'all are buds. Ethan's doing good. Ethan's, uh, he's on an exercise routine right now. Go I need get to it, get Ethan. on that, guys, because ever since I've been doing YouTube, I've been sitting in this chair all day, and I'm getting a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a little <laughs> gut, believe it or not. Uh, Yeah, man, but Patreon has been awesome. Uh, if you guys have never been on Patreon, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a paid for site. Uh, you go on there and it does cost money, but if you know if you don't want to spend money on our other site, totally understand. Like, you know, you definitely shouldn't have to do that, but you can if you choose to. But we basically react to things and it is the long form version of it. So we take our screen and then we crop ourselves in it and we react to movies and it's uncut, uncensored. And we cut it like a little bit, but it's mainly just to cut out like dead air. Like yeah. anything said or done, we definitely keep it. So right. and then honestly, the last thing we wrote down, guys, is just personal harm in our personal life so not that it was bad before but before youtube there were a lot of little kinks that just weren't worked out in our personal lives you know just in terms of like our schedule and timing flexibility and, flexibility and getting the kids from school and you know i'm sure so many people out there can relate yeah. um you know especially the guys out there you know when you're trying to do something to make money and provide and you know pay bills and things you know when you have kids and your kids get sick and you have to miss work you're doing what you know you need to do as a man to take care of your kids but at the same time a part of you feels almost guilty to have to like not always be available to work yeah. you know what i mean like nothing sucks more than looking at your boss like going up to your boss and saying i'm so sorry boss man i know you were counting on me today but Unfortunately, my kid's sick. Like, you, you you know, you can't count on me today. And kids get sick all the time. And ultimately, that's what YouTube has done for me personally. It's just allowed me to be more present and to just be more flexible. And honestly, to just be more productive and help out more and just be in more places at once. And I couldn't thank you guys enough for it, man. Genuinely, I'm having the time of my life. This is the coolest experience. I'm not saying it's going to last forever. We probably won't be on here for the rest of our lives, obviously. Right. But dude, we're just going to keep rocking till the wheels fall off, baby, because yep. I'm having the time of my life. I never want to stop. And we're going to seize this moment and we're going to take full advantage of it. And it's, it's fun. Great. It's just chilling. Yeah. It's just hanging out with some really cool people, just hanging out in our little living room spot where we watch movies. And people just are kind of like us, by the chilling. way. Y'all are like, if I met you in person, I'd probably chill with you oh dude i hope i never meet y'all in person y'all are gonna be so disappointed because i'm just like the most normal dude ever like. and i'm actually the most socially awkward person ever thank you so much for the support happy new year's uh ultimately and can you guys please comment your favorite moment below we're about to show we're about to show the ones that you guys said and also we said you know la 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 but can you please comment your favorite moment with the Octobers in 2023? Even if it's not the Octobers, if there's just a moment in particular yeah. for you personally, like maybe you got a new job this year. I don't know, dude. Maybe you discovered you like freaking jelly toast for the first time. I don't right. know. But if you had an awesome moment this year, let us know. Drop it in the comments. Uh, we love reading that stuff, man. We really do. There's little off comments like that are actually our most favorite. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're the best comments we get. Absolutely. Um, and when y'all think something's funny that we think's funny, then right, we yeah. think that's funny we love that we get a kick out of that some of you guys have no idea that y'all drop comments that just have us rolling and like you know what we do was our that best. one babe when we posted something in the middle of the night oh, that dude oh comment, my like, god he said who was it he said <laughs> he said y'all got me he said y'all got me effed up or something like that <laughs> but he i'm said, gonna watch oh, it he anyway. said, oh hell no y'all got me effed up <laughs> but he like spelled it all out and was like cussing at us he's like but i'm about to watch it anyway <laughs> I don't know, bro. It was so funny. It was our yeah. first Avengers movie. Yeah, because yeah. we had copyright crazy oh problems. My gosh, as funny. always. Like, not anymore, really, but at the beginning, boy, it was a struggle. Uh, thank you guys so much again, man. I've said it. I think, like, somebody do a counter for me. Jeez. But, you know, I'll say it forever. Like, forever, guys. Like, I, I don't think enough people say it enough, but thank your community, guys. Your community is everything. It genuinely, man, it is literally everything. We press post and it's up to you guys. So. And we're going to keep bringing it in 2024, community. We can't wait. Right right uh thank you guys so much for letting us talk through everything thank you so much for letting us be ourselves being the chattiest people in the room i wish we could talk know. more I, yeah if we, we talked to more, more. 
Yeah, we used to. I feel like now that we're like the that bigger the, the channel gets, the more nervous I'm getting to talk because I don't want to annoy more people. <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm finding it harder to like be like, I don't want to like make jokes and try to be too funny. I don't know. It's getting like more pressure. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit, but I'm going to try to keep being myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna leave you with some of our favorite moments, hopefully some of you guys' favorite moments. And yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll see you guys next year and peace. <laughs> Disturber of the peace. That was Will Smith. <laughs> Bro, he ain't say nothing. He just pulled up and started shooting. I know he didn't ask any questions. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now he stood down. Yo, that was fire, y'all. That was dope. To start, you become part of a bigger universe. Oh damn! Yeah. Nick Fury, director of Shield. Who's that? The director of Shield. Talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Avenger there we go. Initiative? Okay. We're gonna out, Cumber. You, you know I could leave you in the video right now. <laughs> <Just listen to. laughs> Shout out to the Air Force for real. Man, you gotta shoot him. Yes, sir. No, you can't deal with that crap. Oh my gosh, y'all. He would have saved those two dudes if he just would have listened. Hang in there, Captain. Private Ryan looks like he's okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. So sweet. Works better without the safety on. This is Gale Weather signing off. Baby, you're gonna love this. She's gone. Where are they? Where are they? <coughs> I don't know, but I'm hurt, man. Is she calling them? That's fire. Hello? Are you alone in the house? <laughs> Not so fast. We're gonna play a little game. It's called Guess Who Just Called the Police and Reporting You. Sorry, motherfucking ass! Find me, you dipshit! Get up! I can't, Billy. Oh, you caught me too deep. I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Oh, Stu, Stu, Stu. What's your motive? Billy's got one. The police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? Peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive. <laughs> Find me first, you pansy ass mama's boy. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's more than just one man doing it. Yeah. That is a crazy shot right there. He's at peace. Did you imagine feeling at peace up there? With your leg half blown off? Wow. Oh, that's him. Wow. Mm. One year before I was born. Me too. I was praying the whole time. I was just kept praying, Lord, please help me get one more. When I got this, I said, Lord, please help me get one more. Wow, he's so humble. When you're under conviction, that is not a joke. That's what you are. That he was one of the... <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that light's bright. <clears throat> <laughs> For real. <laughs> what the heck, Mel oh, no, Gibson? Man, my eyes tired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ready to go to bed? It's a little movie. She'll have it the power. <laughs> Please be my guest. <laughs> Still don't know how you do it. <laughs> this is, How's he about to react when he can't do it? This is drunk games of the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> Lift it. I, I then rule Asgard. Yes, of course. <laughs> be right back. He's about to go get the Iron Man <laughs> arm. Yeah. Are you even pulling? <laughs> 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 you don't want to try too hard. <laughs> Come on, Cap. <laughs> did he get nervous? I think he did, yeah. Oh, no, no. That's not a question I need answered. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you need to be on this movie, buddy. Oh, it's a note. You are the light of my life, my little star lord. Hmm. Love not. That's so sad, man. I didn't know that's why he admired that name so much. Also, he's never opened it. 
Awesome McVolume too. Let's go, yes. bro. Listen, baby. <laughs> He's like, do we dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no. He's about to open it. I don't want him to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you just smile? Because he's really mad. Because that's his mad. boy at the end of the day. So that's my boy right there. <laughs> Learn from his pops. He's proud. <laughs> You think there's ever like a king who sucked at singing? Probably all of them. <laughs> they were like, what? They were probably told they were great at singing though. He said bros for life. Friday. Tony, we're gonna be okay. You're gonna save him, right? No way. Man, I really hope that this franchise doesn't kill off Iron Man. Like, that would suck. Oh my God. Thank you, man. You okay, baby girl? Man, that scene in the beginning got me with Clint and his kids. My opinion, that was Vin Diesel's best role. But I'm probably gonna get stabbed for that. Oof. Okay, that was dope. That was sick. I can't believe she died too, man. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, this is cool. I can't. Oh, baby. What are you talking about? Here. <laughs> what do you mean? You bet on Take this. That. It's what very wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't understand, babe. I just simply left my phone under the couch and needed to go get it. Oh, He's no. calling Shorty. Baby, you got Yo. a joint in his hair. Hello, Shorty. What are you doing? Nothing. Sitting here watching the game, smoking some butt. <laughs> are you all alone? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're the Octobers. We ain't never had no tarn before. <laughs> okay, now we need to say Peter Quill because. I know. Poor guy. What a bad day. Yondu. I couldn't tell. His real dad. Yeah. He may have been your father, boy, but he wasn't your daddy. Oh. I mean, you weren't the best one, though. <laughs> you threatened to eat him every day. Oh, uh, you're all right, Dad. Don't worry You're about it. lucky, you, my boy. <laughs> you just Hulk smashed just it. Striking it. <laughs> Dude, it came back for more, bro. <laughs> back up. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Why ain't the TV starting? <laughs> I think I'll fall asleep with a TV on your Johnson like that. <laughs> He's a little uncomfortable. Oh my god. What? Oh gosh. What? Explain that. When did what? you watch this? Like four or five? Maybe up until the time I was like seven or eight. At some point we sold all of our movies in a yard sale. We used to have tons of them. Mm, that was gross. Genetically designed super spiders. There's 14. I beg your pardon? One's missing. Yeah, that's the one that's about It's like, here I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's he like? No. <laughs> Just electron microscope on the eastern seaboard. You were talking throughout that woman's entire presentation. Let's go talk about how we listen. Go the kids grab the National Guard. National Guard! <laughs> you need men in these buildings. There are people inside and they're gonna be running right into the line of fire. I need a perimeter as <laughs> Why the hell should I take orders from you? Set up a perimeter all the way. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look at his face now. <laughs> 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 
What you doing, son? Nothing. Just chilling, killing. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. True. I'm just not the, the hero type, clearly, with this. Uh, yeah. The truth is, I am Iron Man. Oh, damn. What the heck? He said, bump all that. I would be doing the, the tap dance on that thing. What would you have done for real? This isn't gonna change what happened. I don't care. He killed my mom. I mean, Tony has a right to be really upset. I get it. Man, y'all some punks for jumping <laughs> my boy like that. What's up? What's up? Who's that? Yo, pick up the phone. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I feel like my cousins used to do the. You think this thing's about to go across that bridge? Maybe delicately. You cannot pass! Yo, this is that meme, you know, the you can't pass. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is that. Dark fire will never fail you. But where was all this when those orcs were in that room? Oh no, he's crossing the. Oh, <gasps> whoa. With the whip? That thing's freaky. <laughs> it looks like a Taurus, don't it? Stubborn. Bye bye. Uh oh. Oh, I was just about to say he got street cred. Get up, Gandalf. Yeah, he's. Oh, like, he can't. He's old. So no, you know, he's a whole wizard, though. He can. Follow you fools. Shut up. No. No. Whoa, dude. <gasps> what? Oh my God, he's gonna freeze, isn't he? Yondu, what are you doing? You can't. Yondu! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Did they save him? <laughs> they didn't just kill off the best character in this franchise, bro. Oh. Dude, I was in denial. No, please don't, please don't. Oh. Boy, you play with fire though, you know what I'm saying? Wow, what a shot. Let oh, me steal in my phrases, little girl. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. Oh, oh Sam. A real one right there. Kinda. Oh. Well, that's the way to go out right there. Wasn't that a beautiful sentiment in a way to go out like that over that beautiful waterfall? I mean, kinda, it was really rough. He was a rough man. He lived a warrior's life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but to me, y'all, this is one of those like iconic love stories right here. Why? She was with the like straight up, what do you call him, a Chad? I don't know. I don't know what that dude is. Where what that dude is. Look, He's look, like at a... his, look at his typical, let me take a pick for the yearbook pickup line. Like... That's impossible. Man, <laughs> looking for them compliments. Uh, here it is. <laughs> Here's a spider exhibit. I know she set him up. She said, go back up right there. He said, no, I'm reading my um, paper. I'd be sitting there wondering why she's so comfortable in front of this camera. All right. We have a plan. Six stones, three teams, one shot. So this is crazy. So they're going to have to like time travel to go get the stones. Oh. So that way they can go back in time before Thanos ever done it. Mm -hmm. All of us. We lost friends. Look, him and the Hulk about the same size now. <laughs> be a fair fight. The Ragnarok. We lost a part of ourselves. Today we have a chance to take it all back. You know your teams. You know your missions. One round trip each. No mistakes. No do-overs. Most of us are going somewhere we know. Doesn't mean we should know what to expect. Look out for each other. This is the fight of our lives, and we're gonna win. Whatever it takes. Damn, we got speech, Cap. Always. Right? All right, man. <laughs> Stroke those keys. Oh. Nah. My friends. Yeah, you need to bow to them. You bow to no one. Oh, and he did too. Yeah, because they deserve it. I hate it here. I hate it here. You okay, baby? Yeah, that was just so cute and emotional. Yeah, we had to get the little uh, the little Kleenex pack today, y'all. Enough! 
<laughs> and I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Picked off by Thanos. How can he pick it up? Oh, because that's the Stormbreaker. Oh my gosh, he's putting his chest. Who's got it? Oh, he's oh. summoning it right now? Yeah. Good focus. Wait though. a minute. <gasps> Get Cap! up! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. That reminds me of the Avengers movie. <laughs> where he almost <laughs> when picked he was it up. nervous about right. it? Yeah. Yeah, he's worthy for sure. What's up? Oh my god. Let's go, Steve. Oh. You cannot always be torn in two. Baby. You will have to be one and whole for many years. Oh. You have so much to enjoy and to do. Your part in the story will go on. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you want to use my gloss? Because, baby, I, don't, I should wipe your eyes. You can't be wiping mine. That's just some good stuff, though. I kind of just hope it's done, yeah. Whew. Can't take it no more. 